Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to solve the problem of the Intel Nook not powering down fully. This is a Nook 6i5SYH. It is currently powered on. I don't know if you can see the little blue LED there. There's the computer screen and I'm going to shut it down now. Right, so I've shut it down and uh, no matter how long I wait, it just doesn't shut down fully. I can still hear the uh, fan going and notice that blue LED stays on and here at the back there's the Ethernet port and notice the light is on. Now this is what was concerning. What happened is there was a power outage or there was lightning. I can't recall exactly and it blew the Ethernet port. So on this computer I'm using a Ethernet to USB connector but what I noticed is the computer does not shut down. So even though I gave it the shutdown command, notice the LED stays on there, the blue light is on there, and the fan keeps going. And so in order to shut it down, you end up having to press the power button for about four seconds to force it off, and then you have to wait. There you can see it, now it's completely off. I can't hear any noise. Oh yes, and a telltale sign is notice that green LED is still on, even though the unit is completely off now. And what I mean by completely off is the power light's gone off and I pressed and held the power button in for that four seconds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this problem. I have to get into the BIOS to disable the LAN port. Now, you might think you can do this in Windows, going to the device manager and just disabling that port. It doesn't solve the problem. So I have to switch it on. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually switch on and I need to press the button for a bit of time force it off again now it's coming on i have to press the button for about three or four seconds right now it's finally booting up again and i'm quickly going to press the f2 button on my keyboard right so i'm now into the bios and what i do is i say advanced and then over here i go to devices and then over here it says onboard devices and then over here it says lan i uncheck that and then i need to say save and exit which is f10 and just by the way i was also unable to update the bios because it wouldn't restart properly so the whole powering down and powering up sequence was not working correctly but now you'll see it'll work so if i want to say uh save and exit i say f10 so i press the f10 and then i say yes and then what will happen is it will now disable that ethernet port even though the ethernet port is broken it will now uh, be offline now it doesn't take effect immediately because the ethernet port is still locking up the unit so having a look at the back there that light is still on so what i've got to do now is i've got to force it off because it's still not uh, going off properly so i'm pressing and holding the button until it goes off completely right there you can see the ethernet port is off now finally right so i also just unplug it and now i plug it back in the ethernet port is still coming on but don't worry once the bias settings take effect you'll see that that port will be offline right so now i can switch it on right so now i need to uh, wake it up again it is still stuck in that uh, power loop so I press and hold the button for a few seconds. Right, now I can power it on. Right, it is finally powering on. I can quickly press F2 to just check that it took that setting. So if I go to advanced and I go to devices and I go to onboard devices, yes, the LAN is definitely off. So I know that that problem should be solved now. Right, now the blue light is on and it has booted up. There it has booted, but notice the Ethernet port is now finally offline. Now when I shut down the computer, it will just shut it down. Right, it just shut down first time, no problem. And if I want to reboot the Nook, straight away, I can hear the fan going back on. And now it switches on and switches off the way it's supposed to. So the problem is the onboard LAN port is actually keeping it in a powered on state. So it's never being able to shut down fully. The fan stayed on and now that problem is resolved. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and cheers.